Nigerian Catholic priest sends strong message to Kanu over his fight for Biafra. IPOP is a separatist group with the aim of breaking away from Nigeria to form Biafra. The conception of Biafra started just after Nigeria had independence when some people led by late Odumegu Oduku fought to see that they formed Biafra, which led to a civil war. That the war led to the to the loss of lives, which thousands having to starve. The war ended when the Biafra surrendered to the Nigerian government after three years of fighting. Several decades after the end of the war, the the IPOB want to break from break away from Nigeria and aim their founding fathers failed to accomplish. The group, which is currently led by Nandu Kanu, has been proscribed by the federal government, which has made the group to lose favor in sight of Nigerians. IPOB leader Nandu Kanu was once arrested by the federal government, but is not currently in the country and has not failed to show his agitation for Biafra. Recently, a Nigerian Catholic priest, Augustine Abagum, sent a two-point message to IPOB leader Nandu Kanu through his Facebook handle. The Catholic priest expressed his love for Kanu's quest to see that Biafra is actualized, but he had to say the truth without fear or favor. Firstly, the Catholic priest pointed reference to the Bible where Moses fought for Israel's freedom from Egypt. Moses was in unity with the elders of Israel for his quest to be actualized. He compared it with the situation of Biafra today where the South Eastern leaders are not in harmony with Inam Kanu over the agitation of Biafra. He told Inam Kanu that if he fails to be united with the nine with the South East leaders, destruction may fall on those agitating, agitating for Biafra. Second, he pointed reference to the biblical Moses again when, out of anger, he struck a rock twice, opposing what God instructed him to do. He warned Inam Kanu against the voice of anger, which is an enemy of a leader. He revealed that he saw a live video of Inam Kanu where he made a derogatory made derogatory remarks about a Nigerian Catholic bishop's bishop. He further said that the Catholic bishop may hold a different view from what he is holding, but that doesn't give him the power to insult him because who God has ordained, no man should curse. All right. So, whatever this Catholic priest has to say, I, I don't, he doesn't relate to any, what? And so what? I think for BFR to be actualized, the same way Nigerians or the leaders chose to sign documents for our independence, they also have to sign for the divorce of Nigeria, if that is something that exists. But yeah, I don't know what. So, please. The comments here are saying that the Eastern leaders are supporting enemies. They are not for us. We need. We don't need them. Inam de Kanu power lawyer. Um, the thing is, I don't know. It's very obvious that the leaders in the southeast with Biafra are not in harmony. But then again, if you actually analyze, you'd realize that the southeastern leaders are also sellouts. They are proper betrayers of their own people. And they literally are siding with the Nigerian government to continue corruption and make sure that the country sees its downfall. So again, cooperation from the southeastern leaders that want to sell the birthright of their people, God forbid. Someone here says... Father, I subject you talk to the elders as well because advising M N N M K alone doesn't make much sense. You and you can also say something about the Fulani herdsmen invading our communities in the eastern region. Um a lot of people are giving their comments a long comment here. People are mostly saying why it has his opinion been about the Fulani government and how he has not really said anything about, you know, about the Fulani herdsmen and their killings and whatever's going on. And it's a really good point because, again, you have to mention things like this because it's 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 part of what is happening in the country. Rather, it's like, it's like victim blaming. Rather than fix the people causing the problem, you go to the victim to make them prevent, in the best way that they can, to prevent harm from them. But at the end of the day, if somebody wants to harm you they, and they choose to do that, of their own will they will continue to do that so the change must happen with the people that are perpetrating evil and that are forcing whatever they the fact is it's victim blaming he should go and talk to the leaders talk to the Nigerian government and at least if they have sense you think you know things will not 
be better or corruption will not end of course it would but don't come to mnk giving advice when you have not advised the rest of nigeria itself someone here says the priest this sound this is a sound and welcome advice from the priest it should be noted that when william Solis of scotland started his freedom struggle against england the scottish nobles were at first bitterly opposed to his mission but scotland gave their freedom after william's willis's de- demise um i used to go do research on that but um if you look at Scotland and look at Nigeria, <laughs> Nigeria is way bigger in terms of a lot of people. There's a, there's a lot more opinions. There's a lot more resistance, if there's any. There's just a lot more to deal with times three, times four of what Scotland might have gone through. But yeah, um, it is what it is. Someone here says, when your fellow priests were killed in the East by a felony bandit, you never wrote this long letter to the elders to do something. Go and sit down, Mr. Priest. I mean, this is this person's opinion, but it's it's um the the tone in which I got from this um advice from the priest was that MNK and IPOB are sort of in the wrong and they should do better if they want their agitation for BFR to actually be successful. That they should do better. That was the tone I was getting to be honest. And that was how it was communicated that they should know how to talk how not to comport themselves. My G, my G, you can't be using gentility to fight with thugs that are giving you aggressiveness. It doesn't make sense because you will be eating alive. Another comment here says, this man is comparing Israel, Israelite to Nigeria with the Bible, but he doesn't see the portion of the Bible that says kingdom of God's for violence and the violent take it by force. Um, someone says, my priest, I respect you as a man of God, so-called. You never advise your family brothers when they killed your fellow colleagues in Inigo State. Very, very true. So this advice thing, it's not even advice in terms of how they can move forward, but in a way, sort of advising IPOP to do better because there's no point in them it just made it seem like I said the opposition, which is Nigeria, South Eastern leaders, all that, as if they were in the in the right place and IPO was in the wrong and IPO had a lot of work to do to catch up and keep up with, you know, what what a lot of Nigeria is talking about, which doesn't make sense. Like, go and keep your advice to yourself. If you're not gonna give advice on how Biafra can move forward, because that's what they want. You think that's if you can magically change their mind, but for for them for them to change their mind, you means you you have to go and give advice to the rest of the Nigerian government and see what happens. What you think about this in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe.